hey guys welcome back to another video and today in this video we'll take a look on how can you treblize oneplus 3 and 3t device which is officially not supported by oneplus but huge thanks to xda developers who made it possible and now you'll be able to install any latest software based on generic images after treblizing the device will also flash the latest pixel gsi image which is based on android pi so without further ado let's begin the process so guys as you can see this is my oneplus 3 which is running on pixel experience room and guys before starting with this process make sure to take a complete backup of your device because we need to decrypt the device that will entirely delete your internal storage and guys if you are making a device treble supported then try avoiding on oxygen os because that has lots of issues with the decryption i also tried with oxygen os but faced little bit of difficulties so i would recommend you guys to have any custom room but make sure to decrypt the device and for this a device should be unlocked and have twrp recovery installed after you are done with everything then you need to download these files so here we have one recovery file which is treble supported recovery and then we have lineage os 15.1 all other files will take a look once the device is treble supported so as you can see my device is running a custom rom which is pixel experience rom and now first i'll boot my device to twrp recovery and you can see right now my device boots into twrp recovery here i am using blue spark recovery but i need to change the recovery and install recovery which is rebel support and also make sure to download the exact files which i have mentioned in the description below guys do not use any kind of other files which might create issues so now i'll connect my device to pc and transfer the recovery file which is an image file so now i have copied the image file so if you want to install that recovery image go to install tap install image and this is the recovery file which i am talking about but before that make sure if your device is not decrypted to decrypt the device to decrypt the device go to wipe go to format data and type yes over here after that just hit this blue tick mark and reboot recovery i have already decrypted my device so that is not required for me go to install install image and flash the recovery file selecting partition as recovery swipe to confirm flash once this is done go back to the home screen now go to reboot and reboot recovery and now you'll see recovery has been changed now we have twrp recovery which is 3.2.3 that is treble support recovery and now we'll give command to trebleize the device so go to advance go to terminal and type trebleize over here So execute this command and hit the blue tick mark. Allow the process to complete. Once it says the process has completed successfully, now comes the most important step. Now you need to boot your device into the system. So if your device doesn't boot into system, then there is some problem. You need to again follow all the steps, but make sure after trebleizing the device, your device boots into system. And as you can see my device boots up into system with no issues now what we'll do is we'll again boot the device into recovery so power off the device first and now once again when you're back into twrp recovery connect your device back to pc and now copy the lineage os file that is lineage os 15.1 copy and place it inside the internal storage once you have copied the file just try to locate that file inside internal storage by going to install and here you can see i have lineage os 15.1 available inside the internal storage go to the main home screen go to wipe advanced wipe and from here you need to wipe dalvik caches caches data and system swipe to wipe once this is done go back again to the home screen go to install and flash the lineage os once the room is flashed successfully go to the home screen go to reboot and reboot to system after your device boots up it will give you some error of system image you can just ignore that go to next and just complete the initial setup here it is not required to add any google account or connect to wi-fi and now your device have treble support and if you guys want to check that you can just download the apk file from the description below that is treble check application and then transfer that apk file inside the internal storage 
once you have transferred go to the file manager show internal storage and here install this apk file after that just open this file and here you can see now you have a green tick mark where it says project travel supported so now your device is completely supported by project travel so this way you can travelize your device now moving on to the installation of gsi image which is based on android pi so for that what we'll do is we'll boot a device back to twrp recovery and once again when your device is back into twrp recovery now again connect your device to pc and copy these required files one will be the magisk file if you want to root then you have post gsi image 1 post gsi image 2 post gsi image 3 and this is the system image and if you also want to include the google play services apk file then you can also include that copy all these files and place it inside internal storage after you have copied those files try to locate them once again and as you can see i have all the files available so first go to wipe go to advanced wipe and wipe dynamic caches caches data system and swipe to wipe after this go back to the home screen now you need to flash the gsi image so that's a image file tap install image select the pr1 system image which is based on the latest gsi image of pixel devices under partition select system image and swipe to confirm flash once the process is done go back to the home screen go to mount now you need to mount vendor again go back to the home screen go to install now install post gsi files in sequence so post gsi 1 post gsi 2 and post gsi 3 and that's it now you have successfully installed the latest pixel gsi image on your oneplus 3 now if you want to root your device you can go to install and flash magis 16.7 and if you don't want to root your device you can just hit reboot system but i'll root my device here swipe to confirm flash so now successfully flash the magis file go to reboot and reboot to system And as you can see your device will boot up in somewhere around 3 to 4 minutes. Once it boots up you can ignore the initial message and after that you will have issues completing the initial setup. So for that you can download the latest apk file that is google play service apk file and install it manually. But before installing that make sure you change the screen dpi. So to change the screen dpi go to your pc and under adb folder you just need to open command prompt cmd and hit enter after that just type this command adb shell wm density to 420 and hit enter once you hit enter it will ask for permission on your device just allow this permission and if you get something like this error that adb vendor key is not set then just again use the command and hit enter And now you can see the density of the screen has been changed after that just go to settings and connect your wi-fi network once you're done with connecting wi-fi network go to file manager open up internal storage and if you have not placed the google services apk file then place it inside the internal storage then this is the google apk file select to install and install it as normal apk once you have successfully installed this just reboot your device and now you'll be able to use the google play services or the google play store after you're done with that and now if you want to hide this navigation bar then you need to execute one more command because this option is not available inside the settings for that go to your pc and in the same command prompt just use this command that and hit enter so this will completely hide the navigation bar and you can enjoy the complete screen of your device so let me show you the software information going to settings system about phone here you can see device name it shows as pixel xl you can ignore on that going down under android version it says android 9 
with a security patch of 5th August 2018. So guys this way you can trivialize your device and also you can install the latest GSI images on OnePlus 3 and 3T. And if you have any kind of questions you can let me know in the comment section below and also let me know if you want the complete review on this room then I'll include the performance and battery backup. So guys as of now only this much in this video. Hope you like the video and if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up. Also if you are new to my channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.